Hi, everybody. This is Erin Anding, um, the Librarian Site Technology Facilitator at Glen Oaks Magna High School in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And today I want to share with you probably one of the most important things you can do for yourself during remote uh, learning, especially if you have spotty or inconsistent Wi-Fi access. And that is learning how to work offline on a Google Chromebook. And that's actually one of the reasons you're not seeing me today is because I've been doing most of my presentations on my personal laptop, but I'm currently using a Chromebook that has now decided to not let me have the webcam for some reason. But I am bound and determined to show you how to do this. Uh, to work offline, let's, let's start our presentation. So this is learning to work offline on a Google Chromebook. Okay, now what does that mean? That means that at some point you're going to do work on your Chromebook when you have no Wi-Fi internet, um, hotspot, something of that nature, connectivity. So you're going to start to make this work. You're going to have to start in an environment that has Wi-Fi. Okay. And you're going to have to do a couple things before you go to the environment that does not have Wi-Fi or has inconsistent Wi-Fi. Now, the good thing is if you set this up, this will work very well. And then the very cool thing about a Chromebook is, as you move back into an environment that has Wi-Fi, uh, the changes you made to your document will automatically update, okay? So uh, this is a process that uh, would be very useful to those who have inconsistent Wi-Fi, spotty Wi-Fi, no Wi-Fi, um, is having to go to a uh, public hotspot, community hotspot, and then leave it, okay? Uh, it is possible. I will admit that it is, um, it took me a little bit to figure this out, and I'll be fully honest with you, I'm a Google for Education Certified Trainer. And that is because we all have this mentality, and I will be honest myself included, that all a Chromebook is, is something to get to your account in the internet cloud. And that is true. They are devices that are very much meant to be cloud-based. But you can work offline, but you have to be a little more thoughtful about it than you would be on a desktop. We're used to very large hard drives, um, on desktops and laptops and you know you're not always connected and you're actively working on the uh, with the internet and to be honest Chromebooks you are working with the internet um, for the bulk of the time but this can be done if you thoughtfully do it uh, ahead of time I highly 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 suggest practicing this working through it before um, having to do it for real I had to um, play with it myself, uh, sitting, waiting for my Walmart grocery delivery uh, one Friday night, okay? So, first thing you need to do, there are some th certain things you need to do. You need to turn on the offline capabilities in Google Drive under setting, okay? And if you're working on multiple devices, the process I'm about to tell you, very likely you're gonna have to do on each device. I'm currently set up on this Chromebook, but on my personal laptop, I'm not. When I went to look, there it was, I had to do it all over again. So we need to make sure, check off this point that you turn on offline capabilities in Google Drive under settings. So what does that mean? That means you're on a Chromebook, you come over here, you go to settings, so you go to the gear and then you go to settings. This one I have successfully done. So it says create open and edit your recent Google Docs, Sheets, and slide files on this device while offline. Okay, not recommended on public or shared computers. Uh, if that had not happened, I would have had to have checked it. And one of the first things it would have told me, because it just told me this on my laptop, is that I would then have to go to one of the next things I'm telling you. By the way, you do have to be in the Google Chrome browser for this. And this is going to be the next one, which is you need to add the Google Docs offline extension to your Chrome browser. Now remember, extensions we find from the Chrome Web Store. I've shown that in several other videos. So you're going to go to uh, the Chrome Web Store. You'll, you'll do your internet search. Go there. If you happen to do what I just did there, which is under the Learn More, it will take you straight there. So notice I said we went to the, the, the Chrome Web Store. I happen to have Google Docs offline, okay? I know, because it says remove from Chrome. If I did not have that, I would need to get it, okay? You might want to read 
uh, some reviews, see what they say about the support and stuff. But this is another thing you need. You have to set it up in the settings of the drive. Remember, drive is holding pretty much everything. And you have to add the Google Docs offline. Okay. What's another thing you need to do? You need to make sure that you provide the icons on your shelf for ready access offline. So one of the things I kept getting confused about if I'm working offline, but this is an online thing, how do I get there? Uh, what I discovered on this Chromebook was I just made sure that the things I needed were down here on the shelf. Okay, so that I could click on them. If you want to make sure you have like your drive and your docs and your sheets and stuff like that, you'll go here to the right there. Search your device, go to this arrow. And you can click on things like Google Drive and add it down or Google Sheets and add it down. Uh, meet has been added down. Okay. You want to have these available. All right. Now. You need to open, uh, says make sure your device has enough space for your files. So don't download, if you've been downloading all these videos and stuff like that, you might be using that up. So, you know, keep the, uh, your files clear enough that you can do what you need to do. And then notice where it says we check the box. And then we have to make sure we save our docs, our sheets, our slides for offline use. So on your computer, go to drive.google.com. We are there. Right click, so go to drive right click the Google Docs, Sheets, or Slide file you want to save offline. And you need to turn on Available Offline. Notice it says you can use Shift Command or Control, depending on what you're on, while you click other files if you need to do multiples. Okay? If you want a preview, it says on your computer, go to drive.google.com. Make sure you turn on Offline Access first. At the top right, click Ready for Offline. That's that little button there. You can actually see it kind of behind here. Click Offline Preview. So what does that mean? That means that, let's say I want to use, you know, this presentation. Uh, I want to work on this thing offline. I'm going to, and remember, I'm in Google Drive. Available Offline. Notice right now, it is not checked. If this is what I'm going to work on, I'm going to need to check it. Okay. It says making one file, file available offline. Okay. So I've made it available. My settings are good. I have the extension. I've given myself ways to get to it when I'm offline. I have made the individual file that I want to work. Okay. Now comes the situation of uh, going offline. So I, I dealt with this. Um, I was recently waiting for my Walmart grocery pickup and I decided to play with it. I actually had this Chromebook in my car and it was actually open. So I didn't have too much issue with getting in. I could still kind of move around because it was logged into me. I was intrigued enough to turn it off and was kind of intrigued to see if I could get back in. And because I was on a device that had my data synced to it, et cetera, it recognized me, I was able to get back in. Okay, so I logged out and logged back in. But what's interesting about logging out was it was effectively shutting down, okay, in the situation I was in. And then I, you know, turned it back on and I logged in. I got back in because it recognized me. And then at the time, though, I didn't have everything set up. So I couldn't go to an activity, but I learned I could go in and out. All right, even though I was not necessarily connected to Wi-Fi, the device remind, remembered me, okay? I did eventually go home. I put all this stuff together. I made a basic uh, Google Doc. I followed the steps. I made it available offline. I then went, you know, while offline, I went to my Google Drive to get it. That was the document that popped up. I was able to work on it. And then I reconnected myself to my Wi-Fi, and I was able to do it. Okay, and it magically just updated, you know, I guess not magically, but you know what I mean. Um, this is something if I were you, I would practice before you need it. This is one of those good things to do to get yourself back into school mode. Um, it is not a difficult process to do, but it, it took me a while to figure out. I know several faculty members have tried. There are videos out there and there are tutorials. So if you get stuck, 
Um, you can definitely also call, you know, email me. It's E Murray, E M U R A Y. Remember the A, please, at ebrschools.org. But, um, you know, play around with it, make it work for you, and um, use this as a way to save that hotspot, save that Wi Fi for the moments when you need to do a Google Meet or collaborate with peers or things of that nature. Um, I hope that this will help you out. Uh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.